Well, good afternoon, my girls and my guys. Welcome to the Boy with the Pampers and the Toys channel. I am your host, Al. <laughs> like I'm really related to Bob Barker. I wish I had a chocolate with Bob Barker. But anyway, I digress on that. But welcome to my channel. I'm a new subscriber to YouTube, and I have everything to choose from. So today, we're going to talk about Barbie's Fashionista. Uh, they got a new, I don't have them all, but I have a, quite a few. Hey, times are hard when it comes to you not getting no endorsements to buy. You know, Barbie, Mateo, do y'all see me? I'm blessed. I can be an ambassador for your company. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> so today, we're going to talk about a few items that I've picked up from my local Target. Today, we have a fashionista Ken, and he is number 193. I actually like him, but I have some bones to pick with Mattel about him. And we'll get to that. I, I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay. So, next, we have Barbie Fashionista 185. I do like her. I do like her. I, I don't have too many bones to pick with her about. I don't really... The outfit could have been a little better, but I... You get what you pay for for either $7.99 at Walmart or $9.99 at Target. But I like them both. I shop both at both places. Okay. And then the next one we're going to talk about is Barbie Fashionista. Where is she at? Girl, where you at? Where you at? Okay, she's number 187. I should give them names. I mean, I should have something fun. Come, you know being put to this video. I'm going to call her uh, Lauren. Let's call her Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Because, you know, I'm mm, Barbie, I'm not a fan of the blonde-haired Barbie, but I like her friends. So I didn't get to show her up close and personal either. So, straight down, straight down, straight down. And then the guy right here, I'm going to pick a bone with. And I'm going to tell y'all I'm going to pick a bone with him about. I like this doll, but there's something, there's false advertisement going on in the tail for you to be calling out for it. Okay, last but not least, excuse me, folks, if I feel blessed, if I'm blessed, but I'm hot, let me turn my fan around. <laughs> Woo, Jesus have mercy. And then last but not least, we have a Life in the City Barbie, which I really like her. I, I'm being honest with you, I really do like her. I'm gonna show her close and personal. Love, I love the hair. I like the baby hair laid down and the pretty curly, 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 curly. And she is a plus size doll. So I do thank Barbie for being versatile. And since this is going to be my first Barbie video, let me talk about Barbie and history with my mom. And no lie. My mother, when she was alive, she used to basically, I always dreamed of Barbie just being like, real life instead of just this funny built woman with big knockers and I don't know Barbie in the 80s and 90s how she was built don't ask me any questions but basically she was scamming but when you look when you look back in history of Barbie you'd be like she was just a hunchback woman with big knockers kind of hillbilly nothing from the hillbillies I love the Beverly Hillbilly so don't flag my channel please please so I just feel like now, where they got to a point with Barbie now, they got so many different Barbies out. They have, um, they ha how can I say it? They have uh, a tall Barbie, a short Barbie, a petite Barbie, a skinny Barbie, a very chocolate pretty Barbie with beautiful melanin skin. And they have the queer, the, I'm going to say the queer gay Barbies. Um, male and female, and I love it. I, I love it that they're being realistic instead of just living this false narrative like holly will holly holly i said holly will <laughs> hollywood invisible old visible city okay so all right let me get to the go ahead and get to the business that maybe pays me one day or hopefully but not hey i'm gonna keep pushing okay so on the line right now we have um the barbie fashionista 185 I, again, I'm weird. I bought like two dolls or two extra figures of a pack. 
I just like having one that's still in the package and then one for display in my toy kingdom. But let me go ahead and get to the opening. All right. Now, I like that they got these packages right here because you can usually use these containers for whatever you want to use them for. Uh, you can be here anything, change, money, um, just, you know, different type of objects, whatever, maybe something for your hair, pencils, erasers, whatever. You can use this, even, get, even I'm going to say a little girl. No, I'm going to say a, a child can use this for, uh, if she wants to go to school and have erasers and everything in here in her little pouch or her little, maybe a purse. I'm just thinking outside of the box, like kick cereal. All right, so, I don't like, well, this is, I guess this is the safe part to say. That's the little plastic piece they have so you open up the doll. So let's get this girl open. I'm gonna name her uh, Felicia. I don't care the name of Christy, y'all, black girl, sorry. <laughs> She's going to have a name today. So, you, this slides right out. And you see they got the little, um, they have the cartoon of her right here, which I think is beautiful. It looks like uh, Miss Felicia. I just named her Felicia, y'all. This is not really her name, so you can just make up whatever you want for the dolls. She looks pretty tall, and she's very petite. Uh, so, I love this doll. I really do. Let me move up close and personal. The Fashionista dolls to me are, a, are they're similar to the Barbie signatures. The only difference is the body structure because you can actually switch out the heads. If you want Miss Felicia's head on top of a Barbie signature body, a movable body, realistic body, do it. Whatever you, whatever you want. So let me put this to the floor so I can put this in the trash later. Um, she's pretty tall. Uh, let's see. She looks more skinnier than the other Barbies. She does come with some boots. Uh, that, 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 Steve Urkel. <laughs> I <didn't do> that. <laughs> okay. So, a lot of times the Barbies actually, uh, have flat feet. The old school ones had feet like Miss Felicia here. Um, I'm a big fan of both of the feet. But I feel like the Barbies with the feet like this, you will actually have to get like something to stand them up or prop them up against. Like some of my dolls I got over here in the corner, I prop them up against each other, the ones that don't have flat feet, like Miss Felicia here. Um, let's see. I do like it that she has her headband right here, her scarf around her head. Uh, Miss Felicia, uh, let me see. Pretty, got her fraggles. Let me show up for up close and personal. She's very tall, so pretty much, I think with this doll, I like her. I really do. She, you can go, like I said before, you can buy her at Target for nine ninety nine. I can go to Walmart, and I'm not trying to have stores compete against each other because I love them both. I think Target has great products, they a little pricey, but I wouldn't recommend another store. So she got her hands on her hip. Like she just ready to smack somebody, talking about where is my money? I'm just playing. <laughs> so, I wouldn't choose this outfit for her though, but I mean, hey, you're paying $10 for a Fashionista doll for crying out loud. But overall, I do like this doll. Uh, I would have rather have them on her, a pair of pants and a shirt, because this dress is ugly. But. Who am I? I ain't no guru. I'm not no stylist for Hollywood. I'm Nicki Minaj. Come see me, Nicki. We're Sagittarius. <laughs> so, okay. But I give her, I give her a, I want her to have flat feet. I really did. But I get it, Barbie. I get it. Uh, Mattel company. And why is my fan moving, guys? I was wondering, it's like my fan's dancing on my floor. My floor is wooded floor. But don't you say right, fan? The little toaster that couldn't, the little fan that could gonna stay still. Okay. So I'd rather for her to have flat feet. I just wish Mattel can do something. They need to have a meeting or something about having a flat footed doll's heels. Because a lot of these girls don't have nothing to choose from, and some of these shoes don't go with their dresses. I'm sorry. There are some shoes that can go with dresses, but this. Come on now. Come on, Mattel. Let's get it together. 
So, Miss Felicia, I do like her, and she will be put up there with uh, on my shelf. And I would recommend y'all to go out and get her. I strongly do because I do like her. I like her. She's tall and very leggy. All right. So, Miss put Miss Felicia to the side. Felicia, you all right? No, my feet hurt. <laughs> so, I'm just going to set her down here. Well, she got to move to the side. She'll get somebody else a little breather. So, I'm going to definitely get to the... The, the Ken doll right here. The Ken doll 193 right here. I got too much stuff on my desk, gang. I apologize. I'm not a hoarder, but I'm a healer. <laughs> so here he go. All right, just showing y'all his poster, his comic cutout. Don't he look great? Let me take him on out. And really, I do have an extra one to the side right here, but I'd rather open him up and put him in a different outfit and put him somewhere else and put him. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to them. I'll put too much. I'm rambling. I am rambling. I'm rambler. I'm the rambler. Okay. So I want to give him a name. I'm gonna call him. Um, call him. What can I call him? Gang. What can I call him? I'm gonna call him. Uh, uh, what can I give him? I can't think of a guy's name off the top of my head. Something that stands there. Jordion. Jordion. His name is Jordion. Okay, I got a bone to pick with Mattel about him. Now, Jordion, he can stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. I like his outfit. Love the shoes. Not too many male Ken dolls. The new ones now have hair. Back in the day, it was very rare to find a Ken doll that had real hair. Now, actually, there's three I know for a fact that have real hair. We have an African-American one that has his little fade and his hair just kind of like mine. Kind of remind me of me. Hope it's not a voodoo doll. But um, on the back, and I'm going to show you, gang, what I have a pet peeve about. Let me get to uh, Jordiana. So, when you look up close and personal, I, I hope I, it's not so blurry, gang. I'm doing the best I can with my camera quality. I will get better as time goes on. He has longer hair, if you notice. You can Google that, too, as well. Mr. Jordan here does not have that. I don't know if, if it was a last-minute thing that Mattel was like, okay, cut his hair to the side, or maybe it was a glitch in their graphing of design or x-ray. I don't know the model they maybe used to model him off of, but I don't like false advertisement. He is a good looking Ken doll. He's a great looking Ken doll. He, he's very sculpted out well, but I'm taking off points, Mattel, for this. This is not fair to the consumers because some people may Google things. Hey, you know, the internet, you can go in there for anything. It's like you're watching my video right now on YouTube, if you are watching, and thank you to my new subscribers as well too. Uh, my few subscribers I have got since I had my channel up for the last couple of days. I'm blessed, like my shirt says. I'm grateful for you. Don't tell people that something looks like something and when they get it or they go to the store and see it, that turns people off from wanting to buy your product. Definitely it will do that. That's just like you see a chocolate cake on TV. Ooh, chocolate cake really sounds good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um,. If somebody was to see that fudge chocolate ice cream cake and they go to the store and there's no ice cream inside the cake, I'm not going to say that the person's not going to want to buy the cake, but they ain't going to feel like they want to buy the ice cream in a container on the side to eat it. So, Mattel, we have to give good advertisement. And I'm not showing your company because I have all your products. I've purchased all, just about everything over here. I have over thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars worth of bargains. And more to show the future if you let me be your perfect ambassador. But... Mr. Jordion, he looks great. Um, they have, just like, they have different body sizes for the men dolls. They have a kind of a, I'm not going to say chunky, thick, probably my size. They have one body size that's that, that size, then they have one that's, you know, the average size can size. Then they have the petite can. So, I would really like to see a bigger can doll. Let's be realistic. Everybody can't get what they want in life. Belle, when she when she went to the castle, she didn't know there was going to be a beast that turns into a prince at the end. So, you know, she didn't get what she wanted right away. And I get it. Time runs lightweight courses. I get it. 
But other than that, I would definitely, he has real hair. They put some gel in it to actually, um, our something glue in the name of Gorilla Glue Girl. I do like Gorilla Glue Girl, by the way. I'm not making fun of her. But um, I see this right here. They put a lot of gel or something in his hair to lay it down. Uh, I could wash it out, but I'd rather leave him right. Like, well, I got another one already out of the package, so I'm gonna show you game. So I'm gonna leave one with the outfit on, and I'm gonna have one actually with uh, a different outfit. That's coming soon, that's coming soon to a theater near you. So I told you I'll buy two at a pack or three at a pack. I'm crazy like that now. <laughs> okay, let me put him back next to his Bessie. But honestly, I would recommend people to buy him, but I will recommend cons uh, consumers that he does not have that flip that they promised him on the back, that flip on the side. And I was expecting that flip, but I still purchased him because he needs to be added to my collection. But we're carrying on. We're not going to shun the man. Jordian's a good guy. I've been knowing him for a long time now. <laughs> we go way back. We go way back. We go way back. He's next to Felicia. Next, we have Miss Lauren. Miss Lauren is, I think she's beautiful. Lauren is number, she's number 187. She got her cartoon, her ponytail. Got that Beyonce going on that Renaissance girl. Well, I mean, just Beyonce in general. I don't think in Renaissance she ever had a ponytail. And shout out to Beyonce and the new Renaissance album, by the way, as well, too. So let's get her going. She's a tall girl, but I don't think she's, I don't think Felicia's taller than her, but, you know. Who am I to tell who's small, short, whatever. Now, Miss Lauren looks a little stocky and tall. I like that. I'm falling in love with this girl right now. I like it. I like it like that. I like it. I like it just like that. Okay, so here go Miss Lauren. Now, as I said earlier, Felicia had the pointy, normal, original Barbie feet. Miss Lauren got these feet, baby. What was that? that no, then by Phil. I talk to my toys, I talk to my toys. But um, Miss Lauren has the feet that we was talking about. And look, she has the dress on. I don't think boots can go with every dress, but hope my light didn't go well. I paid the battery bill, probably did. We'll put some more batteries and I'll know later today. Miss Lauren's pretty tall. And let me, let me put her up next to Miss Felicia. She looks a little um, um, plus size, which is a good thing, I love that. Not plus as in, and please for the people in the comments, uh, be, I'm treading light with my words. Not as in big, but she's, she's a thick girl. Well, let me take Miss Felicia's boots off and let's compare and contrast. Well, Felicia got her beat. But Miss Lauren, I like her size. I like her size, I really do. So, Set her next to the friend that could. Um, Felicia, you're not, you're not in this moment. So, there's Miss uh, Lauren. I named her Lauren. I'm naming the dolls. She got a ponytail. She got her earrings as well, too. I'm not really... I'm not really used to um, any of... Any of the um, dolls having earrings. A lot of them don't sometimes. But this is very different. I like that about her. Uh, I like her outfit. I really do. It's something different. And um, she looks a little different from Barbie. From Barbie's normal friends. So, I really do like Miss Lauren. I just wish that, again, they have these, um, they have high heels they can make for the flat girl feet. So, I really, I re since I really like her, I give her a 10 out of 10. Okay. So I don't have too much to say about her. I just, I love her facial expression that she's smiling as well too. This is one of these dolls where if you go there for your child and you pick the doll out, you like your doll's crying, she's gonna look and see a happy face and be like, okay, I'm happy. Oh my life, I've been searching for you. Shout out to Ashanti, I love Ashanti, baby. I love me some Ashanti. So I don't have too much to say about Miss Lauren, just 
Look at her one more time before I sit her down with her friends and they have a little popcorn. Okay. So, last but not least, we're going to talk about Barbie Life in the City, friend. <clears throat> I like this doll right here. I love her. On the back, you know, they just show her and everything, all her little equipment she got. I love her. And, um, oh, by the way, let me, I'm supposed to be showing bar clothes. That's the right thing to do. If I'm a new YouTuber, I'm learning everybody. So if you have any input to upgrade my mind, please feel free to tell me in the comments. So with her, hmm, she comes with a laptop, headsets, a little dog, and a nice old pretty backpack. Now I paid um, $19.99 for her. No, it was, I think it was $14.99 if I'm mistaken at Target. Target, aka Target. I had to get her because there's something about her that drew me to her. It really did. It drew me to her. So she comes with a lot of good accessories, gang. Now, Mattel, this is what I have a problem with about the animals now. I, I guess it's with the Barbie extra. Y'all got them animals looking like anime characters, and I love anime. Shout out to anime cartoons out here. They're still doing the, 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 the daggone thing. But y'all got to get it right with these animals. Let them be realistic like they was once upon a time. I get it. So, let me see. What is this right here? That, and I'm going to name her the Manic Gang. I just don't know what I want to name her yet. I'm trying to think of a name right now. I'm just, I don't know if this is a record that she has right here, but it's hard to get out. Okay, okay. I believe this is a record. So, I'm going to show you all her accessories. But first, I want to show her before I show you her accessories. But I think to show the doll is more important than the accessories. That's what draws you in. Okay. All right. All right. I like her outfit, though. I love it. I love it. I can't complain. Okay. Here she go up close and personal. I think she's beautiful. I love her hair. I, I love her hair. I know, like, this time and age, this, this new age generation, and just Hollywood in general, lace fronts are really powerful. Now, me and my partner had a, we didn't have an argument, but we just talked about how maybe she was the friend that had the braids and she just was like, I'm ready to do the legend of Billie Jean. Shout out to that movie as well, legendary iconic film. Um, just was like, I want to just wear my natural thing, my natural hair. And um, I like her. I love her. I want to see what her feet look like. I don't want nobody to think I got this creepy feet fetish thing. No, I don't. I'm just talking about feet in general from action figures and dolls we you want to know if your doll or your toy in general can stand up i think that's the most important part um what am i gonna name her name her um i'm gonna name her coco i'm gonna tell you why i'm gonna name her coco um the girl who plays the who as uh hillary on the new fresh prince of burler on peacock Coco Jones, oh my God, I love her music. I really do. She can, she got a beautiful voice. Shout out to Coco Jones. So, should I name her Coco or should I name her, name her um, Elizabeth? You know what? Elizabeth Coco, Co Coco Kane. My my late mother's name is Kane. So, Elizabeth Coco Kane. Okay. No, that don't sound right either. I'm gonna get flagged. Y'all know why I don't sound right. This is called her Liz. So with Liz, she does have certain type of feet. I, they're not all the way flat, but they are a nice size. And I can appreciate that because there, you still can find some heels for Liz. If you want to change Liz's style up and be like, I don't want her wearing these boots. I want her to have some heels to have a little edge. Boots is okay, I get it. And Liz, on top of that, I just love, I love her body structure. She, girl's got it going on, honey. She's got it going on. 
So she got her headband as well too. I like that at, at part two, but some of my girls out there know they can't keep wearing them headbands. It's pulling the hair back too much. <laughs> but Liz, I like Liz. So let me put Liz's shoes back on. I'm gonna show y'all what accessories she's come, she comes with. <clears throat> Again, Mattel, let's show the doll. To me, I think, I guess, let's just say this. I, the dog, mm, he's a hot dog. I think he's a hot dog. I don't like the eyes. I just want y'all to be so, be like y'all used to be with the animals. I'm going to, give me three seconds. I'm going to grab two old school animals and show y'all what I mean. Cause we gonna compare and contrast because we didn't do live right when we when we when we wanna sell something. See these dogs right here, I love them. I'm gonna go up close and personal so my viewers can see. I I love it. I'm assuming he's a golden retriever. I don't know my dogs better, but I love animals. So that right there to me looks natural. <clears throat> Am I complaining too much? And I just feel like the material that they use to make this dog, the one right here that comes with Liz, this is the one that comes with Liz, the hot dog right here. They just, it just seems real plastic. And this right here just seems so adorable and hold for Liz to have. So we know Liz got a dog and I don't think with her arm structure, she's able to hold it. Now, if I was to take, I'd rather keep Liz's head on her body I could take her head off and put it on a movable, uh, posable body, but so she, so this dog can be held. That's fine. She ain't got to hold the dog. She don't. Liz does come with an arm uh, a bracelet as well. I didn't show that as well. There's her bracelet. The pants is all that in the shirt. So she comes with a laptop as well too, because I'm assuming that life in the city, she's a college girl, or she could be working from home. I don't know the girl's schedule. I don't, but. I digress on that. I keep dropping stuff, gang. I keep dropping stuff. So she does come with a record. I don't know why. Maybe Liz plays in a band. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. I don't 100% keep up with Barbie storylines and cartoons and stuff. But like I said, I do have a big Barbie collection. I like. I like Barbie. It's sentimental to me. I love her backpack. The backpack's all it too. Liz does come with headphones. So what I'm going to do, put Liz on her headphones because Liz could be working from home or either she could um, be a college girl. I don't know. I don't know Liz's age. I'm not going to assume what her age is. She's like a young girl to me. So what I'm going to do is... See, I'm scared to close this laptop because it could tear off. But I take my chances on it because Liz got to go to, she's going somewhere. She's going places in her life. She's trying to upgrade her life. So, <clears throat> okay. Oh, Liz's straps don't came off her backpack. Oh, Lord, the world is, the world is, oh, Lord. I'm going through it. <clears throat> okay. Gang, just, just bear with me. I got a one track man. Okay. So there's how Miss Liz looks with her full attire, her full gear. I love Liz. I love her. I love I don't know if she can stand up though. Let's pray. And let's put all dogs go to heaven. So Liz is gonna have three animals. So I have my cameras angled out y'all can at least see something for something. So, there you have it. I give her a 10 out of 10. I would recommend anybody get this doll. I, I, I like her. She's one of my favorites. There's only a few up-to-date Barbie dolls that I do like, and Liz is in that top 10. She really is. So, go pick her up if y'all want to get her from Target, Target or Walmart for a good $14.99. Alright, gang. Well, that was another video from the boy with the Pampers, Al. The boy with the Pampers and toys, Al. And I would like to thank every, all my new subscribers. And hopefully I get more subscribers. And I'm going to bring you my better, better content as time goes on. 
I'm gonna show y'all who I am and not no false narrative. Everyone, have a great day.